Well, g'day, g'day, and welcome back again to Jiao Ching. And today, you find us again, we're out. Over on our left here is our Yanzhou Island, which we went to a couple of weeks ago. Um, what I might do, actually, is just give you some idea of where we are. Uh, give you a look on the map here. Uh, if we look down, well, down this way, you can see here the yellow star where we live and we are working where's our college right up here somewhere i think we're in here uh does that look right that doesn't look right that might be for might be this one i'm not entirely sure but the island that we were on the other week is this here yanjo island and you can see the uh, blue dot here where we are now. And what we're going to do is we're going to just ride back towards school because riding back from, uh, from here the other week, I got halfway back and I thought, damn, I should have my camera on. There's some really interesting stuff to show you. So we're going to basically ride back the same way we rode back the other day. Oh, we can see... That uh, airstrip we saw over there, we see a light plane just flying up just above the mountains there. I don't know if the camera, camera will be good enough to see that, but he's just taken off from over there. So we'll have to go over there sometime and do some flying around, but we're going to take you for a little ride back towards the school because we're going to see something that I found pretty damned amazing. Right, no cars behind us, we're all good. Okay, so first of all, we're going to duck down here. So down through to the right here, from the ter ferry terminal. So just behind us there is where you buy your tickets. And then down this little street, we've got, well, some old buildings on our left here. Selling all sorts of things. But then a little sort of shopping district through here. So a little township sort of area, which is really nice. Looks really nice and peaceful actually. This would be a nice place to come and sort of have dinner of a night time or something. Looks like there's plenty of plenty of eating places down this way. Nice little shopping street off to our right there. We haven't been down that street before. We'll have to, uh, we'll have to actually come back and do an explore around this area at some point in the future. But for now, we're just going to head back towards school. A um, little star hosting centre. What if that's some sort of kindergarten in there? Okay, we've got a bit of a weird traffic setup here. So we've got a nice shopping street lots of restaurants and stuff down to our left here i've actually just ridden down there to get to where we are another little shopping street on our right here we're going to go around to our left follow this road around this way so yeah lots of little eating places stuff like that And as we get, oh, which way did we go? I think we went around this way the other week. I'm trying to uh, go back the same way that we came. So we have a, looks like a kindergarten on our right here. Wow, that looks all right. Quite a bit of outdoor space for them. don't know if this is the same way that we went but we'll duck down through here we should get to the same place eventually we come out of this village area and we reach See up in front of us here you can see the what is that oh, it's the uh, train line up above 
So again, raised well up off the ground. We come out of this little village and we're onto this huge big road here, which has quite a bit of traffic motoring down this way. We're actually going to uh, try and get over this road onto that uh, crosswalk over there and come back the other way. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to keep... Are we or aren't we? Trying to decide which way we're going to go back. <laughs> trying to remember which way we went the other week. Okay, no, we're going to go back. We're going to go cross over here and go back down along the other side of the road. I think this is the way we went back last time. I do want to try and hit that same road that we, that we came down last time if we can find it. But yeah, out of that little village, we're suddenly onto a four lane highway. <laughs> Hardly any traffic here. Oh, I think, did we just have a train go past us? Maybe. Okay, so I put the traffic lights up in front of us. We're actually gonna turn right heading back towards, back towards school. And this is something I want to show you that uh, I'm pretty sure this is the right road. Something that China does really, really well. Which is basically uh, planning for the future. So, we see around the corner here, again we're on nice big wide roads but they're very very quiet. We can see buildings being built, so all this has been built in preparation for all this other stuff that's going up. These roads were all sort of built uh, years ago quite a few years back, well before any of this construction was underway. So they had everything planned out, ready to go, when the builders decided to come in. This on our right up here, these, actually these, these houses on our right here actually look really nice. Still under construction, but they do look, they look really good in there. They look like they're going to be really nice places when they're finished. Love to come back and have a look. Have a look through one or two of them houses. But just up here on our right, this big sign up in front of us. I wonder if they are looking at putting some sort of amusement park or something in here. That looks like the sort of thing you would see for an amusement park. but I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, we see this you know, three lane road, three lane on the other side, there's no cars here, there's no traffic. It's absolutely, you know, you'd expect a road this size would be jam packed, full of traffic. There's nothing here. <laughs> a delivery bike, that's it. The, um, it's just mind-boggling how far in advance they get this stuff sorted out. Just their, their planning, planning for the future is one thing they do really well here. It's, um, it's just astounding all these new roads and like I say they've been here for years and there's nothing 
nothing here. There's no cars out on the roads. I reckon, oh, this is this, so cultural design development center. So we actually walked in the other end of this when we did a walk through here. La, was that last week? I can't remember. Might've been a couple of weeks ago. For all these new roads, hardly any traffic here. It's just glorious. Such a nice ride around. All the roads are pretty good, pretty smooth. Oh, it looks like up in front of us, looks like we have a, uh, another road bridge under construction. Not open yet, but uh, on the way. Right, where are we? Uh, we are going to, we're gonna turn left up here. Let's let this car get in front of us and we're gonna move over to this side jump in behind this car so yeah new new bridge being built up in front of us and we'll wait for the uh, traffic lights here it's just yeah it'd be really interesting to come back here in you know come back in five years or something and have a look at how much this place has changed. Come on, buddy. It's a green light. Let's go. See just how much things change. So yeah, new road bridge under construction over there on our right. And again, three lanes of traffic each way. <laughs> Nobody here. So we see in this building here see the sort of bottom floors have got people living in them but the top floors are all still empty seems to be quite a thing on these buildings the bottom floors seem to be seem to be getting people in them first I would have thought people would be aiming for the top floors of these places but apparently not um, right, we've got a left or a right up here. Which way do we want to go? We might go off to our right. So up in front of us here, up behind this wall in front of us, I think this is where we walked a couple of weeks ago. It had the big water park, huge big sand play area over there. And then the stadium behind there. So we're gonna go up this way. We're gonna try and get onto this bridge in front of us to get over the waterway. baby stroller sitting on the side of the road back there. I can't see anybody there. <laughs> Doesn't look like it's for a baby. It looks like it's somebody carrying uh, gardening tools and stuff. So there must be, oh, there is a, there's a, oh, a few people actually over there in a bit of a waterway doing something. Okay, so, We'll go down, we'll try and get onto the roadway rather than going over the bridge on the footpath. Yeah, I think this is a bridge I actually came over when we rode back a couple of weeks ago. So again, we see these nice roads here. And it's all in preparation. So we can see on our right here, we see a lot of land being looks like land being prepared for building works maybe in the future just the very very initial groundworks okay we're going to just keep an eye on traffic behind us here got a motorbike coming up behind us I'm going to 
get over the other side of the road here and spin around and head back around the other way. So again, lanes and lanes and lanes of highway and nobody here. One car behind us. One other electric bike up in front of us. So we've got this huge bridge here, pretty much to ourselves. What are we carrying on the back? Looks like food waste from a restaurant they're picking up. I wonder what they use that for. Maybe throwing on gardens for fertilizer or going and feeding the chickens and the geese. Good, everything here gets recycled, of course. You know, if people can get free chicken feed or something from a restaurant from uneaten food, they'll go and do it. Oh, over on our, on our right as we go down here, we pointed this out when we walked down past the stadium here. So on our right here is this uh, school, I think, I think it's a middle school, but it's a uh, it's a live-in school. So the students who go to this school actually live on campus all week, go home on the weekend. It's a girl I know back in Duan Zhou who I was going to say she goes to this school, but I've, I haven't seen her for a couple of years. I've got a feeling by now she would have graduated. She'd be in high school by now, I think. But yeah, she used to be out here. She always wanted to talk to me on the weekends because at school they took their phones off, off them most of the time. So they didn't have access to their phone. So she could only talk to me on the weekend, but she always wanted to practice her English. She normally, normally we'd have a uh, voice call on a Saturday night and she'd practice her English for an hour or so had good fun chatting. This is a fairly new school in here. And it looks fairly good actually, it looks nice. It looks like really nice grounds in there. It's quite big, it's quite a, uh, yeah, quite a big school in there. But these roads here, they just blow me away. There's just, <laughs> there's just nobody here. It, uh, it's just amazing. Let's duck down to the right here. Sort of zigzag our way back through all of these, all of these new apartment buildings here going up. So much construction. So yeah, once these places are all built and all full, you can imagine these roads are going to get a hell of a lot busier than they are today. But as it stands right now, <laughs> there's not much happening out here. These apartments in front of us look really flat, really flash. Okay, so here we go here. Jiaqing, Xuanqing Middle School. So it is a middle school in there. I thought it was. I was pretty sure that was a middle school. So we got looks like individual houses here and then apartment buildings. This building here looks really nice. Nice colour, the white in the sun looks great. And just having a look, let's just pull over. Just looking at them verandas, trying to see that one's okay. We've got quite a few people living in there. This side here looks a lot emptier, but this side there seems to be quite a few going right the way up, right the way up to the top. Third from the top I can see signs of habitation. So, yeah, a lot of these places are still very, very new. People haven't moved in yet. <laughs> but yeah, I was riding back here a couple of weeks ago coming back from the island, I was thinking, geez, all these amazing roads, and there's nobody here. 
Where are all the cars? Where's all the traffic? Okay, we've got to get over to the other side of the road. We might have to turn right and uh, find a place to do a Yui here somewhere. We're all brand new here on our left. We can see down in front of us more apartments being built as well as new apartments that are recently completed. It's just astounding. It is just mind-blowing how much construction is happening here. Alright, let's duck over the other side of the road here so we can do a little turnabout. Okay, she's turning away. Right, we're going to head on down here. So it looks like we have another road being built down behind us here on our right. Behind that fence. So road construction still underway. So this building here at the back of this school, this looks like dormitories for the students by the look of it. You see all their clothes hanging up on the brand, it was all their washing. I don't know that I would have liked to be living in a school at that age. I don't think, I don't know that I'd like to be living in a school at any age really, it's, I don't know, I don't know, I've never done it, maybe it'd be good. Um, right, where are we? We're going to go straight over here. Just looking at the mountains in front of us, trying to figure out which way we're going to get back to school. Oh, let's stop in the shade. That's nice. Um, what do we got in front of us there? Tuss City. Looks like some sort of shopping and business complex being built over there on the right. Oh, is this, this is the street that we walked down when we were walking, I can't remember where we walked to. So we have on our left down there what looks like a shopping centre under construction. But all of these roads, just empty, my lord. Shopping centre? I think, it looks like, oh I don't know. That up there on the right looks more like business, business sort of uh, premises. Big concrete building on our left here looks like a, maybe a shopping centre being built. More apartments going up on our right here. It's just amazing. The, the amount of money being ploughed into uh, into this area is just amazing. Blows my mind. Okay, if we look, I don't know how well the camera is going to pick this up. If we look at the mountain over on our left diagonal here, you sort of see the darker colour. This is actually where the fire was. Uh, if you saw the video with the uh, fire helicopters. So that was where the fire was the other week. Uh, last week. Which I've still got another video of that to put up yet. Uh, but that will be up by the, time, by the time this one gets up. So yeah, that was pretty exciting watching the uh, fire and fire helicopters do their thing. Hey, we got some traffic on the road. Now, just trying to work out 
how do we get back to school from Ui here? That was a bump. I think we go straight through. I think our main road's straight up in front of us here. Four, three, two, one, go. Okay, another big overpass for road traffic here. here is the is the entrance to the toll road so yeah if you want to get somewhere quick with no worry about traffic lights and stuff up through the toll road up in front of us there is your entry onto that road and then you've got easy straight through traffic to wherever you're going um, up just to the left of that is where we've actually ridden up there before heading back to the school so we're actually going to finish the video here today just with that i just wanted to take you for a ride back from the island back through the road our school is just up here on the right and we're going to uh be heading back there but we've already done this sort of area on the bike so yeah if you've enjoyed this little ride hit that like button share with friends subscribe to the channel all that wonderful stuff uh, if you have any questions comments hit us up down there in the comment section if you have anything you would like to learn about life here in china in guangdong in jiaoqing in particular again hit us up in the comment section if you come up with a good idea we'll go away we'll do some research and we will get back to you Wow, that's uh, not leaving much of a way to get up onto that footpath. We'll have to duck in this way. So, yes, thanks for watching, everybody. Stay safe. Hey, bumps. And we will see you all in the next one. Cheers.